That's area effect. How do you do local effect? Okay. When you want to do local effect, you cut a grid. So area effect for hand, local effect, sword hand. With two fingers. See, it's mostly, I'm not going like this, my shoulder, it's, this is where I want to do, if it cannot be reached by my wrist, it's, it'll be too wide, okay? It's, when it's localized, well, unless you want to do a local area effect on a full wall, then you're going to take this big, immense staff brush, and <laughs> so, yeah, it works, by the way, if your brush is empowered. We'll see that later on. So this is how we cut the grid. Rin. Okay. Rin is horizontal. It's based on fate. Then you go vertical. Hyo. It's active, it's vertical, it's penetrating dimension because it is a way of self-mastery. You know? Kyo. Okay, self-mastery is my tool. Self-master. To. To is a state of harmony. Everything is horizontal, based, flat. To, harmony. Then, sha, power. Okay, sha doesn't mean power, but this is what it brings. You flow within the power. Hi, Right? Kai, everything. So you in an expansion state with everything. Kai, Jin, throat chakra, affirm. space-time dimension, so if you're still in the horizontal, the flat, it's space-time, it's area, it's dimension. This is where you start cutting through the real fabric. And let's, at Zai, Sri Jai okay, creating in the appropriate manner. So you'll be, boom, vertical again, to, yang, to command. Then, the last line, the same way at first, based on faith, written. And at the end, then, make it as it is, obvious. Zen is in front. Zen means just in front. It's what's just there. Okay? It just makes it to be, uh, it's accepted and obviously there. Okay? with no judgment, no complaining, no nothing, okay? So this is why you have horizontal, then active, boom. Then you have another peaceful or supportive Fujian. Then you have another active, bang, vertical, okay? So based on this, bang. Based on that, bang. Based on this, bang. So I'm making a cross right now, so understand. So when you make the grid, one there, 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 there. Uh, 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 zen. Okay? So you get the hand that it's not a perfectly square grid because it's got five lines high and four wide. Okay? Five as in forces active in numerology. These are the supporting forces. Four means square, shape, object. This will create the form. Okay? So when you make a grid with your two fingers or with an empowered pen or brush, you can have a pen or a brush that had been previously empowered. There are different ways to do that. Talk about that, about that later. I really want, before we get to the ink management and all the, the, the scroll and talisman making, I want you to grasp the basics. You draw the grid to keep in the consciousness. Area effect just expands affects the people, will work on them, but this consciousness will gradually 
fade away. Like the spell I did a few hours ago was for you to be affected by this radiance of Daikon, okay? Buzushu, I just did the Buzushu spell. Good radiance. So you could keep this for a few days to allow you to slowly integrate this new seminar, this new energy, okay? Now, I want her right hand to be more efficient at manipulating energies. Okay? Like that. Alright. So I'm going to draw the Q symbol. In the grid. So I'm just here. Now it's a, it's a grid. If I go like this, I'm going to be bigger in her hand. So I'm just going to take a finger. Then Q, Do, Sha, Kai. Jin, Red, Zai, Sen. It's there. Because a little impact. I'm going to show you how to make this cube. Instead of the Okay? There's, there's a way to produce the impact. At the same time, I go with the voice. There's will. And now, you got it in there. You need someone very strong to try to strip it off. Okay, even yourself won't be able to take it off for now. So you've got this agility with energies because you've got the Kyo Puji in there. Alright? So you saw how I did it. What do you feel? What did he feel in your right hand? Locally. Strange. Strange. Okay. Not fire, not power, not energy, just oh. New experience. Okay. Very good. Okay. So, of course, the kanji of Pujian are kanjis that you can empower. Okay. So let's say I want to cast a fire spell. I'm going to try to draw the kanji in between the inner square of the lines, okay? It doesn't need to cross everything, but somewhere in the grid, let's say I want to make a fire spell, and go. That's it, Call. And it's somewhere in there, okay? Oh, there's no line passing here. Doesn't matter, it's, it's really centered in the middle, about there, okay? So, this, Board, simply because I'm using it, starts to be empowered by fire energy. Because I've empowered the grid, I've empowered fire, and if I am just talking about it in a mundane way, it's starting to act. Okay? So when you do majutsu, you don't use majutsu symbols or strategies unless you're actually going to cast a spell. Or at least you are conscious doesn't mean that you cannot draw a circle in your life ever, but just don't draw a circle with a symbol you've empowered, unless you really want this effect, okay? So when we wrote it on our paper, a dark paper, it was like that. Did you empower the Kujin grid? Did you practice this? No. Did you charge the ka, ma, the, the ka fire? Okay. Ah, okay, so you just took notes. <laughs> when? All right? To cast spells, this is what you seem to be. So this is the apparent stuff. Oh, he does like this thing, and it shouts some kind of and and Okay. <laughs> Humor is good. So spell casting is not theatrical. Spell casting is not David Copperfield show. If you want to entertain yourself, go see David Copperfield, go see a movie, go rent one. It's not for show. It's not to be seen. It's not to be displayed. Unless it is in a situation where it will be accepted.